Welcome to another episode of the James Wise Magic Review. Let's get started on today's review, which is going to be Decoy by Owen O'Hare. Now this effect has many, many applications, but it's essentially a vanishing deck. Um, so, you've seen many kind of vanishing decks effects out there be uh, before in recent years, but you show the basic idea of it is that you show a deck of cards, you instantly just collapse it, it starts vanishing, 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 until you're only left with one card, or maybe like a four of kind, like a, the four aces. But essentially, that is like the basic idea of what the trick is, is being able to take a deck of cards and make the entire deck vanish into one card or uh, a four of a kind. There are many other kind of applications that you can do with it, some of which uh, you can do like uh, kind of play around with a, uh, a rising card effect that they do teach in the DVD. Uh, but there's so many different applications. I saw Rick Lax, I saw him post a video of this really cool effect, and he kind of just, you know, he did a couple of his own little um, effects with this, uh, uh, with this effect. <laughs> and it's actually really, really cool. All right, so the DVD teaching and the DVD quality is top of the line. Yet, of course, it's by Theory11. Um, I'll post a link in the description below where you can view the trailer and purchase the DVD if you are so interested in it. But uh, Zach Mueller, the host of Expose and the other you know show he used to do, with it, which is The Insider, um, he uh, is the one that actually teaches the trick. Um, sometimes, every now and then, um, they do that where the... Um, They'll get someone else to teach it. Uh, I'm sure they have their reasons why, but they'll get someone else to teach it. Zach Mueller, he is a uh, an excellent teacher in this DVD. He teaches you everything you need to know uh, to be able to essentially, I guess, quote unquote, construct your gimmick and uh, perform all the effects that you need to do. And it, you're not really left in a situation where you're like, okay, I'm kind of confused. He didn't really teach that well. He teaches you everything you need to know. And one thing I'd like to point out real quick is that it actually comes in a DVD case, which is awesome because if you have actually seen some of my uh, other reviews lately, um, I've been kind of uh, saying that I wish they would go back to bring their DVDs into actual DVD cases. You know, stuff like Overstuffed wasn't actually in a DVD case and uh, Regeneration by Blake Voigt and some other ones. And they, I want the DVD case and they finally did. I was like, oh. It's awesome, but yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the gimmick real quick because there is a gimmick to this effect. Um, this is uh, this trick's been kind of compared to uh, Panic by Aaron Fisher because essentially it was a similar effect. We had a deck of cards. You you know you would fan through a deck of cards, vanish the deck, and you're only left with like the four kings, um, which is also a really really cool trick which I've already reviewed. Uh, but this one is is a completely different method. Uh, it's not anywhere near the idea of uh, Panic by Aaron Fisher. This is a very, very out-of-the-box idea. And it's actually, um, when you open up your, you know, your package when it uh, comes in the mail, the gimmick is essentially already made for you. All you have to do is actually choose which deck of cards you're going to perform this with. Because you can do this with any deck of cards, which is really cool. But you only get one shot at it um, because... The, um, it comes with like an uh, I can't really reveal too much, obviously, but it, it makes it so you can't uh, you can't really uh, change out uh, change out cards. So pretty much, pick a deck of cards. You're gonna want to do this trick forever, pretty much, with that one gimmick, and uh, you're pretty much stuck with it. But like I said, you can pretty much do it with any deck of cards as long as it's poker sized and as long as it has. Uh, white borders. I'm sure you're aware of uh, some deck of cards. They don't have like the white borders, like the black arcanes, or you know, or, or the the um, the blue artifice, the first editions. You know, they don't they don't have the white borders. It kind of need it's kind of essential for it to be a uh, with white borders and to be poker sized. All right, like I said, I did mention that the gimmick essentially pretty much is already made. You just need to choose which deck. Uh, now you probably will be able to um, purchase. More gimmicks if you if you you know you lost it it, it uh, got damaged or you just want more and you'll be able to um, purchase it without the actual you know buy the DVD all over again um, just contact the 311 support uh, I'll I'll post a link in the description where you can actually go to contact 311 to buy um, 
another gimmick for this effect. And not just for uh, this effect, but any gimmick uh, sold on Theory 11. If you lost it, broke it, or you just want another one, just contact Theory 11. Like I said, I'll post a link in the description below uh, where you can just purchase um, not only this gimmick, but uh, all their gimmicks that they supply that are in stock. Alright, so I have to talk about the question that I've heard a lot of people ask. Is the effect and the gimmick practical? Um, you know, what, what are some of the pros and cons to it? Well, um, I will say that I believe that it is practical because it is one of the most uh, awesome kind of gimmicks that you can play around with. And it's one of those just out of the box ideas. And... Um, I, I really think it is really, really practical. There is a little bit of an angle issue, but in a different way. It's not like, oh, people behind you can see it. It could be, do, be done 360 degrees in the round, but height-wise, there's a little bit of an, <clears throat> of an angle issue. Um, it does need to, someone like looking at a deck of cards, um, I don't have a... <laughs> I don't have a deck of cards on me right now, and I want to get out of the shot. But imagine this, uh, imagine this Game Boy SP <laughs> is a uh, is a deck of cards. All right, just just for a moment, you can't, you won't be able to actually really perform the effect um, and have them, I guess, be fooled by the illusion if they're looking at it like straight on like this. It kind of has to be like tilted down just a bit, and uh, I mean you you'll, you'll kind of see what I mean when, when you purchase the effect. And uh, yes, yes, I know this a uh, Game Boy. I, probably a lot of the younger children have no idea what this is. Game Boy, what? <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm getting off topic. But anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it's a little bit of an angle issue, but it's not really something that's going to be uh, a real, real problem uh, for for the most part, at least, because most of the time when you're doing tricks, the deck of cards is a little tilted down. Anyway, so I don't think you're going to really run into a problem uh, for the most part. Alright, so some of my personal thoughts. Now, like I said, I really, really think this effect is awesome, and there's so many different kind of applications for it. You're not just stuck with the one trick and maybe just a couple of variations. You can really just take this almost in any kind of route that you want. It's really, really cool. And um, the only thing um, that's going to be a little bit, it, it's going to take a little bit of practice. And not necessarily practice in terms of like sleight of hand or whatever, because there really isn't that much sleight of hand um, for this effect. But it's really just practice as in uh, being very natural with it. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about when it comes to gimmicks that you need to hold naturally. Otherwise, you, you know, if you kind of hold the gimmick in a certain, unnaturally, it's gonna bring a, that kind of that kind of tension in the room, and your audience is gonna know that something's kind of fishy. So it's one of those things where you just need to be able to be very very calm about it, be very very relaxed about it, and don't call attention to it when you don't need to. So that's pretty much the only real um, difficult part about it is just a little bit of practice, getting the handle of the gimmick to make it seem as though it's. Um, you know, a very fair, and you're not you're not hiding anything, even though you are. <laughs> so that's pretty much the only thing. All right, so that pretty much concludes this episode of the James Wise Magic Review. Um, so some final thoughts, real quick. This can be purchased on Theory11.com for thirty four ninety five. Um, I do think it's a, just a tad bit pricey. But it's kind of understandable, seeing as how it does come with a DVD, an awesome trick, and the gimmick itself is not exactly a very easy gimmick to construct. It's kind of a really out-of-the-box idea, and uh, it's actually really, really cool and really neat. So, understandable as well. So, uh, in all, I give it a thumbs up. It's a really cool effect, and I really hope you guys get it, because you're going to have fun with it, just like I did, and just like everyone else is. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the episode of Chance Wise Magic Review. Real quick before we leave, I would like to point out that I do have another channel. It's uh, James One Wise. Well, I guess technically it's just James Wise now since uh, YouTube did that whole Google Plus change thing, so everyone's using their real name now. So, just James Wise. I'll post a little, uh, little annotation right here. Just click this uh, little doohickey right over here. Yeah. That'll take you to my main channel. Um, where I just post magic videos and stuff. It'd be awesome if you came and subscribed, support me. I'm working on some really uh, big videos coming up pretty soon. So, you know, click, 
the uh, subscribe button to my cha this channel and the other channel I just annotated. So, awesome. I will see you guys next time.